Hi, I'm Jim Elias, and today I'm going to show you the new Dense MFC65 medium format lens projector. This projector incorporates many new and unique features that will make the work of the lens technician quicker, easier, and less prone to error, as well as new possibilities for more accurate and more reproducible measuring than achievable in the past. The MFC65 can illuminate an image circle exceeding 60 millimeters, so the Alexa 65 format is definitely covered and full frame is covered with a generous cushion. The light source is a high intensity LED that can be used for evaluation of lenses even when stopped all the way down. For use with high speed lenses wide open, the LED light source is continuously dimmable. For optimum reticle stability, the reticle is hard mounted with screws and there are no springs or slides it can wear. The standard MFC65 test reticle features the familiar semen stars, anamorphic semen stars, line pair blocks, and frame lines for evaluation of distortion. In addition, we've inscribed image circles with image circle diameter dimensions. The MFC65 has a very short base flange depth of 10 millimeters. That's the distance between the mating surface for the mount adapters and the reticle surface or image plane. What is so important about having such a short flange depth? Well, the obvious customary answer is in case you're working with very short flanges, such as the Sony E-mount. That's really no problem with the MFC65. But even if you're primarily working with longer flanges, the short flange depth opens up some new possibilities. For example, the MFC65 has intermediate adapters available for red DSMC mounts and Alexa Mini mounts. With these intermediate adapters, you can actually use the taking camera mount Attach it to the MFC65 intermediate adapter. Mount it up. And there I have it, a native red DSMC mount on the MFC65. Now why would I do something like this? Well, let's say I had a multi-camera shoot and I wanted to make sure that each camera mount in use behaved the same with a given lens. Now I can do that. I can check all my camera mounts together with the lens that I'm using. In addition to the intermediate mounts, the short flange depth of the MFC65 also allows for our unique rotating mounts. Because we need so little room in the projector, we have more room outside the projector in the mount and that allows us to incorporate a rotating bearing. With that rotating bearing, we can rotate the lens 180 degrees during evaluation for very exacting aberration analysis. So to sum up, why the short flange? For short mounts, for intermediate mounts with the taking camera mount, and for rotating mounts. In addition to these specialty mounts, the MFC65 mount adapter program also, naturally includes all the standard mounts in common use, and we can make custom mounts upon request. The core of a test projector is the reticle. And that means that the reticle positioning is extremely important for proper evaluations. Traditionally, test projectors have used a dial indicator attached to the side to show where the reticle position is. 
The problem is, if I drive a dial indicator back and forth over a zero point several times, the dial indicator will no longer show true zero. It will have drifted. The MFC65 doesn't have this problem because we use an optical encoder hard mounted to the reticle carrier to make sure that when you go back to your zero point, it always remains the same, 100% reproducible. The reticle drive can be adjusted in both directions in 1 micron, 10 micron, and 50 micron increments. And I can always return to zero. Now we've seen that the MFC65 zero point has no drift and you can be confident that it is always reproducible. But as every technician knows, that zero point can move a little bit depending on what adapter you use. When you switch adapters, the zero point has to be reset to fit that particular adapter. And in the past, that was done with a dial indicator. Now what we wanted to accomplish with the MFC65 is that the lens technician has to use the dial indicator as little as possible. To that end, each adapter is measured by us at the factory and engraved with a code. And when I switch adapters, all I then need do is put in that code. The MFC65 then does the work internally, compensates the reticle position for the difference between adapters, and I no longer need to use a dial indicator. It's often so that when evaluating modern lenses for use with digital cameras, you want to use a filter behind the lens to simulate either the low-pass filter or a cover glass as it's actually going to be within the camera. Now in the past, use of such a glass wasn't so easy because the focal flange distance had to be lengthened one-third the thickness of the glass, and that required a lot of work with the dial indicator again. With the MFC65, that's been automated. Each mount can be used together with a glass module, and the glass modules screw into the mounts themselves so that we can preserve the short flange focal distance of the projector. After the glass is mounted, all I need to tell the MFC65 is that I am using the glass. The MFC65 then drives the reticle to the new position needed for the glass. I can turn that on or off. I didn't have to use a dial indicator. I didn't have to make a note of anything. I didn't have to turn a knob then I'm going to have to turn back in the other direction later. All I need to do is turn it on or off. So the MFC65 integrated reticle drive allows for complete reproducibility, adapter changes without using a dial indicator, and automation of filters behind the lens. In order to assist in setup, the MFC65 has an integrated bubble level with leveling feet, an integrated alignment laser, and an integrated distance finder that works in feet and meters and has an accuracy of plus or minus two millimeters. That's less than a 64th of an inch. To mount accessories on your MFC65, there are integrated rod ports for 15 millimeter lightweight, 19 millimeter studio, and then our own proprietary heavy lens anti-sag system. What does the heavy lens anti-sag system do? Well, when using a heavy, massive zoom lens, even with the customary lens support, Standard iris rods can still sag enough to throw out the flange, 10 to 20 microns. With the integrated anti-sag rods, you can then use our heavy lens anti-sag support to further support the 19 millimeter rods and keep the flange stable.
One situation that can often come up is where the projector has to be positioned a good distance from the projection surface. This often results in two people being needed to effect an evaluation. One person to stand at the projection surface and evaluate the image, while the other person stands at the projector and focuses the lens. To this end, the MFC 65 offers an optional remote system via this Wi-Fi tablet. With the Wi-Fi tablet, I can control all the functions of the projector as if I were standing at the projector itself. That includes the brightness and the flange depth. It also includes control of our lens motors. With the tablet in use, you can also use our integrated witness mark camera so that you can actually see what the lens barrel is doing. The MFC 65 is manufactured using the most modern machines and processes available. Each projector is measured and inspected on our own industrial grade measuring machines in-house. Thank you very much for your time and we look forward to hearing from you.